this week's edition of Hoka Pigskin Pickums. Pigskin Hoka Pickums. Pigskin Hoka Pickums. Week two, really week eight. Week eight, motherfucker in the building. All right, last week. The main purpose of our shit was to win you some money, and that's exactly what we did. We was both positive. So I'll be paid some rent this week. We said, bet your house on Tavo, and goddamn, we got it right. And we had to, uh, so we bet our life on the Cardinals and the Pittsburgh game. And if you didn't. Steelers covered, baby. And our upset pick of the week, them dirty birds. How about them Falcons? How about baby? Everybody's mad as fuck. Motherfucking Sue's mad. You know what? Stop losing, buddy. How about that? So let's get it started. Enough patting ourselves on the back. Let's win you some more money, huh? Let's go right here. We got uh first game is Indianapolis Colts at Tennessee Titans minus nine point five. Nine point five for Tennessee. Who you got? Didn't Tennessee just get fucking slacked last week by Houston? I mean, I know, I know the Colts got shit on on Sunday. Was it Sunday night or Monday night? Sunday night. Sunday night. Colts, goddamn, dude. What sixties? What the fuck? Yeah, that was embarrassing. I don't Look, I got Chris Johnson on my fantasy team. If there was ever a week that he was going to go off, it would have to be against the Colts, right? The Colts, yeah. That was the week. I mean, goddamn, the quarterback gets hurt, and now they can't tackle? What the fuck's going on on Indy? Look, it's a big-ass spread, but, I mean, goddamn. Give me give me Tennessee, give him the 9.5. I got to believe Tennessee's going to win by, like, 17 because they still got a fighting chance for the division, and the fucking Colts are suck for luck, baby. Give me, give me uh, Tennessee. What you got? All right. Hasselback wasn't all that bad. Then cut down on them picks. They'll be all right. I'm going to just keep it short. Yeah, give me Tennessee. They're going to uh, cover the spread. They'll win by more than 9.5. 9 One of them half picks that we, I have a fucking discretion <laughs> with. So we both got Tennessee. Over the spread. Covering the spread. And add Tennessee to one of your T.O. teams to watch list. Because what I'm hearing from my reliable sources on ESPN, that Tennessee, you know, the one wide receiver, Kenny Britt, got hurt. If they do win a couple games, this might be a good landing spot for T.O. They did take a shot with Randy Moss last year that didn't work out. So keep your eye on Tennessee. Next game. We got New Orleans Saints at St. Louis Rams plus 10.5. Jesus, did they? These some high spreads this week, but look, the Saints score every fucking time they get the ball. It's like Madden. The Rams, they still don't know if Bradford's gonna play this week. Who was it? AJ Feely last they week. What last the week. fuck? I know this is a big spread again, but give me the Saints. I fucking hate the Saints, but if you want to win money, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll take the Saints. The point of the show is to win you money, and that's what that's all it is. That's all we do, and uh, same thing. Take New Orleans by big. I'm talking about like 17, 20. Look, man. I did see that Mark Ingram got a little dinged up last week, but they still got Sproles, you know. Marcus Colston had two touchdowns. Fuck, who didn't have two touchdowns last week for the for the Saints? <laughs> they they don't hand the ball off, so it, it don't matter. Yeah, fuck it, dude. They just fucking Breeze do what is they just throwing do. it, so it don't fucking matter. What's the next game? We got Miami Dolphins at New York Giants. Minus 9.5. Let me hit the hookah because this is hookah pickums. I'll go first with my prediction. The Dolphins are garbage. I'm going to just say that. Like, they lost to the Broncos, who are also garbage. But Tebow, that is Jesus. I, I found him. So get, <laughs> Shout get, out to Tebow. Tebow, man. We see you, man. We was cheering for you. We had you on the Red Zone channel, man. Hey, keep up the work. I know everybody be hating on you. Your stats ain't all that bad. You ain't throwing no picks. Like, them, all, them other sorry fucks. Look, I got uh, I got the Giants this week. Um, they'll cover the spread. It, they'll win more, more by 9.5 because the Dolphins are just garbage. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, god damn, these are some big spreads. They, one of these games got to be close, right? After this game, they lower down to about three. So this is like one of the only – well, there's like one more high school. Look, high school. Miami's firing everybody. Reggie Bush, you <clears throat> fucking suck, dude. I'll say that every goddamn week because it's true. I seen Reggie Bush talking about, oh, this team sucks. We're bad. Because you're bad. That's basically You're the it. fucking running back. What you score? You know what? You fucking suck. Miami sucks. New York. I mean, Eli Manning. They, these motherfuckers did lose to the Seahawks. Let's not forget. Oh, fuck. I guess. Give me New York. Probably win by 13, maybe 17. Because, I mean, Miami. What the fuck, dude? So, so far, me and, me and Cody got to agree. Fucking, uh. The favorites are gonna gonna take it down big. 
What's the next game? Next game we got Minnesota Vikings at Carolina Panthers. 3.5. Who you got? Who's the favorite? Minus or plus? Minus. So they got Carolina favored over Minnesota? Basically. I don't know, man. Christian Ponder, everybody's on. Christian Ponder had a really good game. Well, motherfucker was 13 for 32. 32 people. That's like less than 50%. And I didn't even pass all my math classes. And I know that's not good. Look, Green Bay's defense, they fucking suck. So I could go out there and throw around and give me a couple touchdowns. I mean, goddamn, how hard could it be? Carolina's going to mop the floor with these motherfuckers. I got to believe that Carolina, you know, they're having fun. They're playing careless. They just do whatever the fuck they want to do. Cam Newton looks all right. Steve Smith looks all right. And, and the thing about Minnesota is you think, oh, they're going to just give it to Peterson. They don't give it to fucking Peterson. Never. Never. Stupid fucks. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay my fucking money on Carolina this week. If you don't like it, fuck you. <laughs> I got, uh, Carolina's winning more by more than a field goal. Fuck, they average, what, like 24 a game? And the Vikings are fucking horrible because they got all hand-me-down receivers from everybody. They... They These motherfuckers got Michael Jenkins. Man, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, you had a good week, but you, you're a shitty guy, so it don't fucking matter. <laughs> you're a shitty guy. Look, <laughs> I got Carolina, bottom line, because they still got Steve Smith, and any given day, he, he could fucking explode on you. And Carolina does not have a bad defense. Give me Carolina winning more by 3.5. Yeah, we agree on everyone so far. Y'all going to be rich this week. Yeah, easy money. What's y'all. the next one? Oh, uh, we got a... Arizona Cardinals at Baltimore Ravens minus twelve point five. Who you got? We might. Have How can a- they be minus twelve point five when they can't even score twelve point five? <laughs> I saw the Ravens on TV last week. What they score? Six? Was it four? What the fuck? We was watching hockey. <laughs> Baltimore <laughs> is Joe Flacco still your quarterback? This fuck my, Flacco. This motherfucker had negative fantasy points. He was my quarterback. This motherfucker. Hey, look, go back to our first. Go back to our first video and watch what he says about Flacco, and that'll let you know if we got anybody on your fantasy team, you better make a trade because you're, you're fucked. He's gonna be injured. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and. Um, with that being said, I'm taking uh, Baltimore because they are playing Arizona, and they fucking are. I've run out of fucking adjectives to describe how <laughs> shitty some of these teams are. Larry Fitzgerald, Kevin Cobb, guess all you got to do is just throw this motherfucker a hook shot and he'll catch it. And you can't do it. You trying to, we got to get early do set the ball. Fuck early do set. Larry Fitzgerald, you can't do it. Give me Baltimore, win by 20. Book it. I'm going I'm to disagree with this guy on this one. Because Baltimore, they have zero offense. Well, if they figure out giving out the ball to Ray Rice, they'll be okay because Suggs are, Suggs are like he's about to beat up somebody in the locker room. They did look highly pissed. And your boy Ray Rice only had 12 touches. What the fuck? That's yeah. not a recipe Eight for Eight carries, one. four yeah. catches. And four catches. Or some shit. Somewhere right some there. Some stupid shit. That's not the key to success. Matter of fact, scratch what I just said. Baltimore is <laughs> going to win by 17 because I don't even think the Cardinals are going to fucking score. They might kick a field goal, but... I got Larry Fitzgerald on my team, so don't count on it. Give me Baltimore winning by more than the spread. This is a friendly fucking show out here, guys. I can't. It's What's a, the next game? We got Jacksonville Jaguars at Houston, Texas. Minus 9.5. Man, these, these ESPN spreads are... ESPN? Like what the other the guys. shit, this dude? Fucking, this is hard. Yeah. What Houston, the, what are you doing? Every time... I think Houston's going to get going. They don't. And then when I say they're going to suck, they fucking win against goddamn Tennessee. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you about Houston, man. I mean, the fucking running back Aaron Foster looked great. Fucking Ben Tate had 100 yards. He's the backup. I think uh, Andre Johnson's still banged up, though. Jacksonville's defense looked all right last week, but that was against Baltimore's offense. So, I mean, what can you say? I don't know. Again, I'm out of adjectives. I'm not that smart of a guy. But I do know this. Know how to win you some money. Take the Texans to cover. I think they're going to let Matt Schaub sling it around a little bit, get the running game going, get about a 14-point lead, and just kind of run the clock out. Maybe the Jazz can get it close enough to get it to 10, but the spread we got right here is 9.5, so give me Houston. Fuck, I hate agreeing with this man, but the only thing the Jazz got good going for him is Maurice Jones-Drew, and I think he had three fumbles. 
What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Oh, doing? he fumbled three times because the guy he was playing against, or well, the guy I was playing against in fantasy, had the other team's defense. So that's the only reason why he fumbled three times. What do you fucking know? But I don't think, uh, his name Arian Foster. He ain't gonna have 41 fan points this week. But I got Tex Texans winning more by 9.5. So. What's the next game? Please tell me it's a good game this week. Oh. NFL gods, please. We got... Washington Redskins at Buffalo Bills minus 5.5. Hand me one of these drop cords to hang myself with a shitty fucking schedule this week. Who in the fuck wants to watch Washington and Buffalo? God, what the shit? Give me Washington. Fucking upset special right here, baby. They got Buffalo favored by five because they won a couple games early on. How cute Buffalo. Guess what? The quarterback just got signed to an extension. So guess what happens now? He gives zero fucks. <laughs> They're gonna go out here and get fucking slacked by like two or three. So give me uh give me the upset special. Watch the Redskins, John Beck, baby, all the way. Ryan Terrain on their big day. I don't know, I'm a little on the edge with this one. Uh I might fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with him. I think if they was at Washington, the Redskins get the win. Uh, it's cold as fuck in New York. Buffalo Bills. I'm gonna get them to cover the spread. They'll win by at least a touchdown. 5.5 ain't gonna get it. Next, next game. We got. This should be an easy one. Detroit Lions at Denver Broncos plus 3.5. So they got Detroit favored by three. 3.5. Do I'm these gonna, people not watch football? You go ahead. I just got smoke on this one. Okay, look, Tebow. You're my guy. I root for you every week. I mean, I hate that you went to Florida, but I just don't like that people just hate you for no reason. So check this out. You're going to lose this week because <laughs> everybody on Detroit's line is pissed. And last week, your offensive line was getting blown off the ball by the Dolphins. And these motherfuckers suck. Like, you was running out of the... You probably made two passes out of the pocket. Like, that's not going to happen against Detroit because the whole point of Detroit being good... Is their defense, well, quote-unquote, until Atlanta goes up there and shows them how to do it. But you're Denver, so it's a different subject. So, all right, give me Lions winning by more than 3.5. This guy acts like he doesn't like money. This guy is allergic to fucking money. What Tim, what Tim, because <laughs> it's his team. What <laughs> team does Tim Tebow play for? Last time I checked, it was the goddamn Denver Broncos, wasn't it? So that's what I'm going to do is lay my money on Denver, and I'm going to be collecting on Sunday. All right, what's the next game, bruh? We got Cincinnati Bengals at Seattle Seahawks, plus 2.5. What you got? They got Cincinnati going to Seattle, and Seattle's the underdog? Yeah. Why does everybody got faith in Cincinnati? Because they got a red-headed quarterback, Ginger Spice. No, thank you. And I love A.J. Green. He go, he went to UGA. You'll always be my favorite. Always. Always. But guess what? You fucking lose. Not this week. Because I like money. And to get you some money, you need to lay your money on Seattle. That's what you need to do. Same thing. I hate to agree with him. Seattle Seahawks is going to cover the spread. They're going to win this game. It's They got a shitty record. But watching them play against the Falcons up there was mighty fucking tough. Everybody in that fucking stadium rocks. Everybody knows that's like one of the hardest places to play at. It's fucking loud in there. It's crazy. Cincinnati's not good. They just got a good record, but we all they got know a that. good schedule record. Yeah, that's just saying. And that. Marshawn Lynch got nicked up last week. He's gonna be back. They're not gonna let Charlie Whitehurst or what's, what's whoever the, the fuck the quarterback is. They're running back Cedric Benson. Ain't that him? For Cincinnati? Yeah. And he locked up? I, Is he on probation? Can he play? <laughs> I don't even know. I think he played last week. He might have had an okay day. But until they figure out that A.J. Green is their best player, hell, he should be playing everywhere. Bugs Bunny shit. So give me uh, Seattle Seahawks winning by more than the spread. No, spread's only 2.5. They're, they're the underdogs. So, hell, if they win by one, you win money. Bet it on Seattle. Because going to Seattle is a tough place to play. You got to respect that stadium. Ask the Saints when they went up there for the playoffs and they got their ass kicked by Seattle. We remember we that, Nick. What's the next game? We got Cleveland Browns at San Francisco 49ers minus 9.5. 
Ooh, that's a big spread for uh, San Francisco. Are, are you buying? Are you buying into Alex Smith finally? He's been in the league for 10 years, and he's good all of a sudden. What do you think? I think San Francisco's good. They got a real good team. That matter of fact, they should also be undefeated. The game they lost in Dallas, like that that was the only game. They they really should have won that game. But fucking Romo just did some miracle shit. <laughs> the one good game Romo. Yeah, had. one good game he beat San Francisco and they got a hard hitting defense, man. And the Browns fucking suck, dude. Did anybody watch the game? Go back and watch. Oh, that shit was Go back and watch our last video and oh, see the and comments. Oh, and Peyton Hillis is out again. Yeah, so. So they got this dude named Hardesty running the ball. Give me a fucking. He's on the NFL roster? Oh. Hardesty? Who? Look, Cleveland, let me run the ball. I run like Peyton Hillis and I'm white. That's two for one special. We got you, man. But y'all are. We might agree on this one. Y'all are going to get blowed the fuck out. Because they blew the fuck out of uh, the Buccaneers when they showed up in San Francisco. I don't know. This spread is too high for me. I think San Francisco is going to win, but not by nine. San Francisco win by about six, seven, or eight, which is obviously less than nine. So give me, um, I can't believe I'm fucking say this shit. You're losing money here. Give me Cleveland, baby. Undefeated. Fuck no. Give me the 49ers. Covering the spread. They win by 10 or more. What's the next game? Oh, yeah. Game of the week, people. Shh, New I better tell England this man the game Patriots. of the week is on Saturday. New England Patriots at <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers plus 2.5. Who you got? <laughs> Look, I ain't gay. I got a girlfriend, but if Tom Brady's on somebody's team, that shit makes my vagina wet. <laughs> and last time I checked, Tom Brady's playing for the Patriots. Give me the Patriots, because they're going to outscore Pittsburgh. I'm sorry, Mendenhall's a shitty running back. Ben's a decent quarterback when he ain't raping folks. Give me, um, <laughs> yeah, New England. I mean, what can you say? They got Ocho Cinco just passing out water cups. They're so good, they don't even need this motherfucker. <laughs> Dion Branch. I mean, Wes Welker. There's too many weapons. Aaron Hernandez. They got Rob Gronkowski fucking porn stars in the bye week. How you not going to pick New England? It's easy, baby. Matter of fact, the pick of the century right here. I got Pittsburgh Steelers winning by three. Winning by three. I don't know what the final will be, but they will win by three. And the spread is 2.5, so they'll win by three. Take the Steelers on this one. This man's having a terrible week. Trust me. <laughs> Take the Steelers on that one. What's the next game? As some reason, you think this is the game on the Sunday. This is the Sunday night game right here. Who, motherfucker, I'm going to be watching porn. Fuck this. Dallas Cowboys at the Eagles. Minus 3.5. Who you got? Why don't you go first? All right. So I can tell you why you're wrong. All right. And then you can defend this and you got it. These motherfuckers still got Romo as their quarterback. So that should end the whole <laughs> conversation right there. Vic, Vic is no longer hurt. Like, he's coming off a bye week. He's probably chilling in his meat suck right now, and he's ready to go. They're winning this week because they told Andy Reid, like, look, motherfucker, if you lose this week, you're done. You're out of here. Vamoose. But here's a stat for you. Andy Reid, 12 0 out of bye weeks. Take your money on the Eagles right here. Oh, shit. They say it's the first time for everything, then you know what? And last time I checked, Dallas almost beat New England. Dallas almost beat Detroit. Dallas almost, 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 enough almost. They win this week, and they win by 10. They fucking, they got so many names on the Eagles, but the names last time I checked didn't do shit. So, Vic, I mean, he cries and bitches every time he gets poked. You got fucking, the cornerbacks are bitching. All of a sudden, everybody's bitching. Vince Young comes in for one play and throws a pick. Good drink team, you know what? Yeah. I got to take Dallas right here, and I'm I'm telling you, if you ever wanted to bet some money, you better listen to my picks this week because I'm paying rent, and I don't even ask for no commission. Dallas Cowboys this week, baby. What's the next game? The Monday Nighter. Give it to me. San Diego Chargers at Kansas City Chiefs plus 3.5. Who you got? I guess I got another upset special because Jesus fucking Christ. The Chargers can't beat the Jets. The fucking Jets. You let Plaxico Burr score three touchdowns. This man was literally getting lunch on a fucking six by eight tray like two years ago. And you let him score three touch chargers. Come on. 
Phillip Rivers, dog. You know what two-minute offense is? It's where you hurry the fuck up because you got two minutes to score. You don't take your goddamn top door screen pass. What the fuck? <laughs> this is what you got to do. You better throw it out of bounds on the last this play of the game. This man threw a fucking crossing route, a three-yard crossing route, and they're on the 20. Dog, you're losing by a lot, and you're out of timeouts. They're fucking <laughs> stupid. The Chargers, North Turner. Jesus Christ, how you got a job. And I'm sitting in my mom's basement right now. This is bullshit. <laughs> Upset special, Monday night football, Kansas City Chiefs, four-game winning streak. Book it, baby. Win you some money. Oh, yeah. Disagreement right here. Did anybody see that interview with Phillip Rivers? This man's as cool as a pickle out of the jar. Give me <laughs> San Diego Chargers over the spread. Matter of fact, they're going to win by like 10. So fuck all the spreads. Care what you got. No wonder this man's in debt. What? Look, book it. Don't listen to this maniac. Give me <laughs> San Diego Chargers. Well, Maybe that completes the NFL pickums, but I got a bonus pick for y'all. It's called Saturday. 3.30 Eastern, Jacksonville, Florida, Georgia, Florida. Give me them dogs, baby. Hoo, hoo. Matter of fact, uh, we got some. Uh, we got an email in from one of our uh, viewers. Tyler Sweeten in uh, McDonough, Georgia wants to know, would you pick up T.O. and any rumors on him going to the Bears? What do you got? I happen to read a couple stories about T.O. possibly going to the Bears, but I think the Bears are too fucking stupid to do something that might help their team. Because they got a running back named Matt Forte. He's the best goddamn running back in football. And they won't pay him. They're going to wait and put their franchise tag on him. And he's going to be fucking pissed. He's going to hold out. He's going to have a Chris Johnson situation. Fuck the Bears are stupid. He won't go to the Bears. If I had to pick a team for T.O., I'm liking Tennessee. And I'm liking, why not New England? I mean, they did have Randy Moss. They brought Ocho Cinco in. They're supposed to stretch the field and be a dominant receiver. Look. New England does whatever the fuck they want to do. They bring in Albert Haynesworth. They bring in Ocho. They do whatever. I'm not one to doubt Bill Belichick. So if they bring T.O. in and they fucking get rid of, you know, one of them garbage receivers, that's only going to help them solidify maybe a, a Super Bowl. Too bad they're going to lose against the Falcons. But that's another story for another time. So my top two teams are New England and Tennessee for T.O. If he don't go there, we'll see him next year. That's all I got to say about that matter right there. What you think? I got, uh... He's got um, a few contracts on the table for some arena football leagues. Uh, it's not a bad idea because it's already week eight. So, I mean, he only play a couple games. No reason to, like, rush anything and get hurt this year. But, I mean, he is getting older, but he looks younger than me. So, um, I would definitely pick up T.O. I think he can help out a team that's almost halfway. Matter of fact, he could even go to Denver. And, hell, he can help out T.O. Fuck it. He needs receivers. You can pick him up out there. Cam Newton could use a wide receiver. Fuck. Who, the only person he throws it to is himself and Steve Smith. So, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And, um, I would go to, if I was T.O., I would try to get on with Carolina because they'll be good in about two or three years. You can help out out there. But I hope he don't because we'll be fucked. But I don't think the Bears will pick him up because they're just like the fucking Cubs. If they're in Chicago, they suck. So, don't The only ever... thing good in Chicago is the fucking pizza and CM Punk. Yeah, that's that's about it. But uh, that's all the information we got on you. And uh, the the T.O. thing about him committing suicide is uh, totally false. That was like an old story. Yeah, I don't even know why they brought it out. Look look how jacked this man is. He puts all this work into his body. I don't think he's trying to kill himself. Man gets any bitch he wants. So you tell me would you kill yourself. So I think that covers it for this uh, the end of our show. Pigskin hookah pickles. And, uh, comments, emails, anything. Hit your Twitter. Let them know your Twitter while you're down there, just in case they forgot. At Red Ranger, baby. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Peace.